Hey everyone, Brandon back. Today uh, we're going to talk about an alternative method to installing uh, a key to note success planner in your OneNote application. A lot of you guys that have business accounts or on SharePoint have reached out to me and said, hey, I'm not able to get this work. And over the last couple months, we put together an alternative method that we think works really good. It's worked for a lot of you. So this is going to be a little video kind of showing you how to do that. It's also going to be a good video if you don't have this planner but want to import another notebook into your business or SharePoint account. This will be able to help you do that. So guys, I'm going to walk through this with you a little bit. First off, I'm going to apologize for this thing. Uh, when I was trying to put this whole set together, I couldn't figure out how to get this uh, out of the camera view to be able to show you this. So I guess you guys are going to have to kind of deal with it. So first off, today we are going to show you an alternative method to importing a OneNote notebook into your SharePoint or business account or simply into your personal account if you're having trouble using the importer. So stay with us. All right, so what we're gonna show you guys is really an alternative method to importing a OneNote notebook into your OneNote account. Now, if you have OneDrive for Business, you're on SharePoint, or just having an issue getting the importer to work, this is an alternative method. One thing that I've really noticed with a lot of people that use the importer, if they're not using Chrome or if they got a slow internet upload speed, they just it just seems a timeout or it just seems like it takes on a lot of time to get it out there. So this is an alternative method that we kind of put together. So what I will do and what my staff and team will do here is we will share you a notebook that is read-only. Now, yes, it's a read-only notebook. You can't edit it. You can only view it. But what it allows you to do is to create your own notebook and then copy the files over to it. Now, if you have another colleague or another individual that maybe has a notebook they want to copy over to you, you can do the same thing. So you guys just maybe got a notification from me via your normal email address from our company that said, hey, we shared a notebook with you and you're not seeing the email from Microsoft yet. Don't worry, a lot of times more than not, it's actually in your junk folder. So if you look at our example here, we have our email set up and inside here in our junk email, you will see it says Brandon Bondorfer shared to key success 2020 planner with you. Maybe it's 2021 now when you're watching this, but it's the same thing. So the first thing we're going to tell you to do is go ahead and click on the word open in your email. And what that is going to do for you, it's going to open up a dialog box. So what that is going to do for you, it's going to open up OneNote linked from the email that we gave you. Now this should be linked into your account. And when this opens up, you're going to see that you have access to this shared notebook. The first thing I want you to do is look over here. You're going to see it says open in app. So if you click on open in app, a dialog box is going to pop up. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to continue. Now, if you are not logged into your OneNote account, it may require you to log in before you can see this or make the next steps. This pop-up window will come up and says, do you want to allow Microsoft to open it? Yes, we do. So this might be a little bit different on a Windows machine, but on every machine, some type of dialog box will come up asking you if it's okay to open. And then what you're going to see is when that takes place, you're going to get some type of dialog box that's going to show up in the app from OneNote. Simply what it's doing, it's creating a link between the link that we shared with you and opening up that notebook in your application. You can see right now what it's happening is the notebook itself is actually opening. So for many of you, you may not even need to go through the email process to do this. You can simply go into add notebook or open notebooks and look in the column of notebooks that says shared with me. You may find a key to success planner or the notebooks that someone has shared with you in there. And that'll allow you to open them as well by simply clicking on open in the dialog box that popped up in the application. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the application that we downloaded. As you can see up here, it does say that it's read only. Basically, what this means is you're able to only view the document. You can't make any edits or changes to it, but it allows you to have full access to the notebook for what we're going to do. So as you look in your desktop, what I tell a lot of people is when you first open this, you're going to see that the, the notebook itself is syncing. Now, depending on the internet speed, this could take five minutes. It could take 20 minutes. It could take two hours. I encourage you 
to allow the entire notebook to download before you proceed with copying over to files. Because what would happen if you start copying over to files and they haven't fully synced to your computer from the shared notebook that we shared with you, when you copy those over into your new notebook, you're gonna be missing a lot of documents and a lot of pages in the planner. So we encourage you to wait it out. Go ahead, grab yourself a cup of coffee. For this tutorial, what we're gonna simply do is I'm gonna go ahead and let that download, but I'm gonna show you the next step. So the next step is for you to basically add your own notebook. So here we're gonna go ahead, open the add notebook, click on new. I'm going to make sure that my destination says personal. Now, if you have a OneDrive account for business, that would be there, or you might have multiple accounts that are connected, but you wanna make sure wherever you wanna save this notebook, you designate where it's going to be saved. So I'm just gonna put uh, Brandon's 2020 planner. And I'm gonna create this notebook, and what that's going to do is that's gonna share that notebook on my OneDrive account. Now, if you have other devices, once this uploads to OneDrive, you'll be able to access this notebook on all your devices, if it be your iPad, if it be Microsoft Surface, any device that would have OneNote, you're gonna be able to access this. So now you can see I have both of my notebooks uh, placed here. I have the one that's shared with me, which is a read-only notebook, and then if you go back and click on the drop-down area, you will see that I have my notebook here. Now this notebook, I can go ahead, I can type in, I can make any edit that I'd like to, and I know that this notebook is now syncing back to OneDrive. So again, if I was gonna be able to use this notebook on any other devices, I could do so. So once this shared notebook is completed syncing, the next steps is to simply start copying the files over. And what I tell people you need to do first is there's one part about the file, you're gonna notice that you can only copy sections in the notebook itself. So we have one group section down here. I'm not able to copy that as you can see, as I can copy the link, but I can't copy the section. So we'll go back to our notebook that we created. We'll right click and create a new section group and we're gonna call that section group key planning. If you want to name it something else, you could do this, uh, but I'm gonna keep it the same for the moment. Now what that allows me to do is that is gonna have the same file as my other file does. But to give you an idea what we do here, at this point you can see that I have the templates. All the template pages are here. They have all downloaded to my local device. You maybe want to check into that just to make sure, but this is a good way to indicate that they did all copy over. Now, I like to go in order that they show up in a shared notebook. So I'm going to right click on the section or the tab, some people refer to it as, hit copy section two, and then another dialog box is going to show up. And you can see right here that I have my root planner and then I have that group section. In this case, the templates and all of the months are gonna go in this top piece here. And we're gonna hit copy. Now once we hit copy, it's gonna say copy and section across notebooks. So what it's doing is taking all the files and all the pages that we have in the read-only notebook and sharing them to your planners. As you can see, I, I can't make any edits to it, but I can go ahead and go into my notebook. I'll see that the template tab is now there and I can easily go ahead and make changes. So now I'm pretty confident that the notebook is syncing over. Now this new section one, anytime you create a new notebook, it's gonna put that in there by default. You can go ahead and delete that section or delete that tab if you so wished. So now I have the templates of the Key to Success Planner on my new notebook. And I can go back to my shared document that I sent with you and I can move to next month. And simply here I can hit copy section two in this case, I can copy it over, and I'll continue to do this as I go through the 2020 planner and make my way all the way through all the tabs. So I'll take a few minutes, I'll do that, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so you just made it through all the months, the process is gonna slightly change. What you're gonna do now is when you get to the key planning, that group section that we created, you're gonna go ahead and take and expand that and click on the individual sections in there and go ahead and do the same right click, copy to, 
But now when this dialog box comes up, we're not going to copy it into the root planner, but we're going to copy it in the group section. So when we do so and we hit copy, that'll automatically copy it and move it into the new section. So that is the only change. So the one other tip I'll give you is sometimes throughout the process as you're copying, maybe you accidentally skip over a month and put it in the wrong order or copy it out of alignment or for one reason or another, the months copy over maybe alphabetically or something. So in this case, you can see that June does not fall between March and April, even though I want summer to come sooner. I'm in from Wisconsin for that matter. I can simply click hold and put that back in alignment and it'll move for me. So if you see any months or any pages that are out of order, that's a really good way to do that after you copy your notebook sections over. So guys, that's it. You have just successfully copied over all the sections from the notebook that I shared with you and you put it in your own OneNote account. Now this works for all shared notebooks. So if you have another colleague or a friend that has a notebook and they wanna share it to you and you wanna put it into your SharePoint or your business drive, this is a great workaround. We are glad that we discovered it so that we can provide this workaround for you. So simply what it is, you should get the notebook that's shared to you, you open it up in your app, you create a new notebook on your drive and you copy over those sections and you're good to go. So if you found this useful, please hit the like button. That's how we get more people to follow this community and learn about the success that we're having. By all means, if you wanna follow our journey and learn more about OneNote and digital planning and other note-taking apps, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. We are gonna do a lot of videos, it teaches you guys all the inside tricks. Matter of fact, we just did a video on digital planning on how I structure my week. Go ahead, take a look at that now. It's a great video. It'll show you some inside look on how I make each and every week an impactful week. Guys, thank you for following me. It's been exciting. This journey is just kicking off. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. It's coming along, coming along, Jack, coming along, coming along.